I can tell you is Clutter Clarity is powered by Mr. Floor. Mr. Floor cleaning products are all non-toxic and environmentally safe, and you can learn more at MrFloor.com. What do you got for us today, Rob? I have a question. If she uses two mics, would she be in stereo? Yeah. <laughs> I think anytime there's a promo for the Mike Novak show, yeah, we just go, I zoned out. <laughs> I just love that clip. Mike, thanks, Mike Novak. You can come anytime. I just zoned out. I like that clip. This is just going to be quick, so I'll just go through these things really quickly, Rich, and then you could talk about whatever subject you feel like talking about. It's a quickie? It's a, this is a very quick one. It's okay. some organizing solutions that I came across. Not really solutions, but I think people don't realize all the possibilities that are lurking for places to store things if you have too much stuff. And a little hint that another organizer gave when talking yep. about the Marie Kondo and, you know, hold everything if you love it. They're like, uh, nobody is going to hold a plunger and say that they love it, but you Are need you sure? a plunger. But you need know, a plunger. I know lots of plumbers that do because yes. they oh. said it smells like money to them. Exactly. Speaking of which, next <laughs> segment we're going to talk about... Uh, Things that your plumber doesn't want you to do. I have a whole segment for you guys. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So anyway, so there are things that we need to keep again. Plungers. You know, Marie Kondo's thing is if you hold it and if it doesn't spark joy, get rid of it. Well, you can't get rid of everything that you have and we don't want you to. But um, one thing, Ikea has a utility cart. It's only $30. It kind of looks like those old fashioned like bar carts. Like this thing? Yes. Like that? crazy yes it's okay. only 30 what you want that for well i use i put my stuff on it i have one in the basement yeah in the laundry room yeah. and it has all of the soap and you know cleaning stuff? products you don't on leave it. it sitting on top of the washing machine no that's where i have all the goop from the cup you know that you fill the yeah. stuff out and you put it there and then it goops all over right that's where i have that so if oh. you put anything on top of it it sticks to it it's not like don't I you can... just put that in the washing machine I do. I do. <laughs> I put the cup in the washing machine. Well, not yeah, everybody. I mean, why not? To keep it clean. Right. How does it get dirty? It gets, it gets sticky goopy. from the goop. So you oh, you yeah. fill the cup. I'm with her on this one. Yeah, and then you dump it out, and there's always goop in the bottom. Yeah. And then you put it on somewhere, and it gets all sticky and goopy. No, you just put it right in the washing machine. Oh, I don't know. I don't do that. So. But other people in my house, they just put it on really top. I don't do laundry either. And then the top of the washing machine is all full of goop, so you can't put anything on top of that. Uh-huh. So, like, the people who would take their box of, like, fresh, uh, the bounce fabric fresh softeners, yeah. they put that on top of the goop, and then it sticks, and then it... Right, but then it doesn't slide around. So, True so, that. So, so it sticks on there. Then you can just, when you peel one out, it sticks there. I do like that idea, but See? the best idea is to just throw it in the washing machine. Thank you, Rich. Okay, so you can take these little bar cart type things, and you could have one with like craft things for the kids. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. you know, maybe you don't have a craft room or or a playroom or something, so you wheel it into the living room or dining room wherever you have a table, and then you wheel it out. So again, thirty bucks at IKEA. You really. I, just yeah. can't look at you anymore. I don't know why. Because <laughs> you. I just <laughs> searched IKEA bar cart. Yeah. And they're all 150 bucks and up. Where'd you find a thirty dollar one? This is a utility cart. Utility. It's called. It Let's looks like that, a then. bar cart. It's the brand. Is, well, hang on. That's is... actually one of those things. There's some that's actually a good tip there. Careful what you search for. <laughs> Even if you intended to make a bar cart out of it, they charge more for those. But if you go for a utility cart, which right. of course is cheap, yeah, thirty bucks. Sunursta, S U N. No, that's funny though. It's twenty nine ninety nine at Bed Bath Beyond, thirty bucks at Michaels, whatever. But if you search bar cart, they're three times the money. <laughs> and it's the same. The thing. same damn thing, nearly. <laughs> but you that's could, hilarious. you know, have one of these in wherever you need it, and then roll it in and out. Uh -huh. So cleaning supplies, you know, if you're going to do the deep down spring cleaning. Which somebody, oh, wow, I am like a squirrel. 60. Squirrel. Squirrel. Uh, somebody said, why do people do spring cleaning? Your house is closed up all winter. You should do fall cleaning because that's when all the dirt and dust comes in in the summer. Uh -huh. Spring cleaning makes no sense. Uh, did you get through any of your list here? I got through one. <laughs> uh, lidded <laughs> ottomans. You can get these at places like Target. I'm sure you can get them at Ikea, too. Those square little ottomans that you kick your feet up on. Uh -huh. Find one that opens up and is... Empty. It's just more stuff. You put more junk in it. 
but you're not putting more junk in it if you have items. So like if you have magazines that float around, if you have pens and pencils and notepads and TV guides and stuff like that, you could keep them in. How what? old are you? Pay no attention to TV? the music. It means nothing. TV guide. This is guide? Mighty House. Mighty House will return. 